Hello folks, Photo Bob here. Welcome back. I want to show you something. Um, wanted to get some tire chains for the uh, BX for uh, improving my traction when I'm pushing snow. And so uh, about a year ago I saw Neil Messick advertise or yeah, advertise. He put a video out on the Messick's YouTube channel for um, the Terra Grip Snow Chains Traction Device. I don't know what you call them. Superior traction, secure fit without damage, which I hope is true because I got plastic fenders and chains whipping around will not be very good on my uh, uh, plastic fender kit which I recently replaced. It looks like they're easy to put on. It says no tool, no tools installation, but I'm gonna need a box opener to get inside. So let me grab a box opener. So inside the box, it comes with a set of instructions and a thank you note. It also has some uh, small plastic tie wraps for uh, securing the chains. It comes with two sets of chains. Now, I've already read the instructions and it tells you you can lay these out on the floor and back over them and install them. But I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove my tires and uh, put them on off the uh, tractor. I like to do things the hard way. So give me a minute. I'm going to reconfigure here and I'll be right back with you. Stop record. After much uh, gnashing of teeth, I'm back. I also uh, put a little something in my belly. So over there on the tractor, not sure if you can see it, but I'll put up a picture. I got the first side on, got the wheel mounted back on the uh, tractor, and uh, so it is what it is. So um, the instructions tell you to turn to lay the chain set out on the floor flat with the peened, P-E-E-N-E-D, side up. So you want the side that is mushroomed, the, not mushroomed, it's the wrong term, the head of the rivet you want against your ground. The, uh, the fastener, there's a hook on one side and a locking device on the other. The hook side goes inside the wheel. It's on the inside of the tractor. The locking device is on the outside of the tractor. So it took me quite a bit. It said no tools necessary. I had to use tools, folks. So um, with that said, I'm going to uh, demonstrate as best of my ability how I did the first one on the second one. So what I'm going to do is position the tire approximately in the middle, grab the end without the hooks, and loop it over. I'm going to, it tells you to uh, hook this on first. The inside needs to be hooked first. I am going to hook it on the very last one. Your tractor, if you choose to mount these, your tractor may, uh, you know, it may not be the exact same configuration, meaning the uh, hooks could be on different lengths. What it tells you is to uh, hook it and then go back and forth between the two sides, tightening the chains as you go. Um, I don't think that's necessary at this point. I'm going to put it on the uh, link that's required. I know what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold the links out of the way with a tie wrap. Let me get the smaller one.
So I tied that back and that's going to help me. You, what you want to do is you want to have that link pushed back. You're going to hook it and it's really strange the way this uh, lever works. Because instinctively you want to pull it, but in reality you want to push it. You got to make sure you got it on the right way. Because if you don't put it on the right way, it doesn't rotate properly. Was to use a pair of clamps to help draw it together. You want to get it over like that and bring it in and hook it in. And that's the best that I can see how it's done. It's job. But it's a really nice traction device in my opinion. You want to have it spaced evenly on both sides. They say about an inch on each side. I think it's closer to uh, two inches on this case. I'm going to air up the tires just a little bit. I've got it at, I think, 15. I'm going to, uh, these will go up to, uh, I think, 30 or 32 pounds. And I'm gonna take them up to 25 to make the tire blow up, balloon a little, to take up any slack. I'm gonna space these traction device before I put it back on. And I'll blow it up. I'll air up the tire after I put it on. I think it's going to be a heck of a, a good setup for uh, here. <clears throat> the other thing it tells you to do is to take some tie wraps and secure these loose chains so they're not beating up your fenders. If you have a 50 series, a must, because the 50 series has plastic fenders and you don't want this set of traction devices to take out your fender set. It's rather expensive. And besides the cost, it's a time consuming uh, ordeal for the professional homeowner. A uh, Kubota mechanic might be able to do it a lot faster than I can. And I hope to do it. I'm, I, I, I'm double wrapping these so that if one fails, the other one is there to uh, catch it. I'd recommend that you uh, inspect, inspect these often so that if they're breaking, you can catch it. I might need to get some more wraps for the other side here. I don't know what these are called. I call it a pigtail. I don't know. You could call it an eye poker. Run this. We're going to install the tire and run the studs, run the nuts on.